Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about Teams on our IDEO Hub. In order to use Teams, select menu and go to Windows first. And now open Teams. In order for you to create conferences, you have to create uh, Teams, uh, I mean your own team in the first place. The first time you log in Teams, uh, the system will automatically ask you to uh, create or join a team. However, today we have already created a team and the name is Huawei Test. The focus of today is to introduce the video conference um, function. In order to create a video conference, click Meetings. And then you will see that you have two options to meet now or schedule a meeting. Let's click meet now. And you will see the preview setting over here. This is the name. You can open or close your camera before you join. You can mute or unmute your mic. And this small button is for virtual background, as you can see. Now let's close it for now. The most important feature of this of this panel is the setting. Open the setting and you can see that there's audio devices, speaker, microphone, and camera. So for audio devices, choose Audio Hub Pro Audio. For speaker, choose Audio Hub Pro Audio Speaker. And for microphone, you also have to choose Audio Hub Pro Audio. If you have external devices, such as external speaker or microphone, you need to change them accordingly. And make sure that your camera is Ideal Pro camera for 4K resolution. Let's start join. As you join, the first, the first thing showed up is to show you how to invite people. You can invite either through invitation link or email. Now let me show you how to invite other people directly without invitation link or email. You can key in their names and if they are in the same group as you, they will appear automatically. Hi, can you hear me? Hi. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Now I will show you how the whiteboard works. If, if you want to share the whiteboard, click this button and choose whiteboard. The first time you're doing so will take a long time to load up the whiteboard due to maybe internet error in internet problems. And as you can see, the whiteboard has very simple function. Four colors, black, red, green, and blue, and an eraser. You can also key in text or make a note here. One thing you need to remember is that we suggest you, if you're using Teams, we suggest you to get an uh, external Bluetooth um, keyboard and a mouse for optimal experience. So let's write something. Carrick. Yes. Can you answer right. this question? Of course. Wait. Okay. Okay, as you can see, my colleague can write on the same board simultaneously. So, for the whiteboard, the gesture function from IDEA Hub Cloud does not work here. As you can see, this is supposed to be an eraser, but this does not work on team. And if you want to erase something, you have to use the eraser like this way, and it would delete an entire stroke, like this. To save the whiteboard, you can simply click the gear button and export the image. 
You can stop sharing by simply clicking stop presenting. You can also share your operating system desktop through the share button and simply click share screen. And your colleague will be able to see your desktop. There's a function. This function also allows uh, your colleague to remote control. Right now, my colleague is, is asking for a control request and we will allow. And he's able to use our operating system on Ideal Hub. As you can see, it's opening a file. All right. Let's uh, cancel this and stop presenting. And that can be the same for his, for his side. Uh, Carrick, Car Car can you share your uh, desktop, please? Of course. And uh, you see here, if you want to remote control your colleague's uh, laptop, you can click this request control button. And he will see the request and he allowed. And I will be able to control his laptop. And you can see there are two mouses here. This is mine, that is his. And I can click. And see the meeting on his side. As you can see, as you can see, as I'm using his laptop on remote control, this is not very sensitive. The touch screen doesn't work very well with remote remote control. Therefore, we suggest you to buy a, a Bluetooth key a keyboard and a Bluetooth uh, mouse. Okay. Thanks, Clary. Thanks, Clary. We can uh, stop the sharing. Okay. So, as you can see, besides seeing who's, who else is in the meeting, you can also click this button to manage the attendees. You can mute them, pin them, uh, lower their authority, or remove them from the meeting. Or, this button allows you to mute all of them. This button, however, allows you to see the invitation panel again. And this allows you to manage permissions or download attendance list. Now, here is the conversation panel. You can type whatever you want in the chat and send it. Simple as that. And this is the raise your hand button. After someone is raising the hand, the president will be able to see that in the participants list, shown here, a hand reason. Now, let's see this panel. There's device setting, meeting notes, meeting details, layout change, and etc. Here, you can change the layout of the meeting. As there are only two of us, this is, the, this is fixed. However, there are more you can change it between gallery mode, large gallery mode, priv together mode, this three mode only, which is a lot less compared to our Huawei cloud. Now you can also apply background effect and turn on live captions. Let's try that. I've already turned on live, live caption. Give a few seconds to wait. Now you can see whatever I'm saying is showing on the caption. There. It's showing with pretty good accuracy, to be honest. Let's turn it off and start recording. And there, it's showing the meeting time. And this is a notification to remind you that the, the, this meeting is being recorded. You can dismiss this to, to dip, dismiss it. You can end the recording by simply clicking the stop recording button and it will give you the warning of this meeting is being recorded. Are you sure you want to stop? 
And if you're sure, click stop recording. And this is a dial pad if you want to key in a number to be called. And this is turn off incoming video so that all participants' video will be stopped. Here is besides uh, screen sharing and whiteboard, you can click here to include computer sound that that means if you are sharing a video for example they would be able to hear your sound if this is enabled however if this is not enabled they won't be hear the audio of the video you share and here you can share the powerpoint or share a file uploaded from your computer and now let's demonstrate how idea hub's hardware works on third-party platform, in this case, Teams. The first, fun the first function I'm going to demonstrate is the distant voice pickup function. That means Idea Hub can hear you even though you're very far away from the screen. We have invited one of our colleague, Cleric, to demonstrate that for us. Now, as I'm moving back, I'm around three meters away away from the Idea Hub. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Okay. Let's move further back two meters. I'm around five meters away from the Idea Hub. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Okay. Let's now move all the way back to the room. Now I'm around eight meters away from Idea Hub. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. I can always hear you clearly, but when you stay at the end of the room, your voice becomes a little softer. As you can see, this powerful function allows your voice to be heard across a conference room. And now let's introduce the voice tracking function in Teams. Firstly, if you want to turn on the voice tracking function, go to the setting. Camera, make sure voice tracking is turned on and the voice tracking is selected. Let's go back to the meeting. And uh, it should work right away as I am speaking. Let's introduce two of our colleagues to help us in the testing. As you can see, as I'm speaking, it, it's already automatically shift to me. Hi, I'm Sarah. I want to introduce the side hub. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, as you can see, it works perfectly in Teams. As I, and you can see, as I'm speaking, it shifted back to me. Thank you very much. And that's voice tracking for you. And now let's introduce the other frame function. Similar to voice tracking, click here, click setting, camera, and choose other frame. Let's go back. And it should work right away. I also need to introduce two of our colleagues later to assist us in the uh, testing. Let me stand right over here and it will identify me in a frame as the sole person. So it will focus just on me. So let me introduce one more. And there you go. Let me choose introduce one more of our camera crew. And there you go, and that's the auto frame. It just automatically, based on the person has, it has identified in the frame. Thank you very much. And that's auto framing for you. And now let's introduce the acoustic baffling. Similar to voice tracking and auto frame, 
go to the setting, go to advanced, swipe down, and you will be able to see acoustic baffle here. It is right now disabled, but if you want, you can turn it on. As you can see in this small preview session, there's a small pickup range and a big pickup range. Let's choose a small pickup range and go back to our meeting. And uh, our colleague, Karen, will help me in the testing. As I'm speaking in the center of the screen, he will be able to hear me. Can you hear me, Karen? Yes. So, let me move a little bit. And he, he should be he should be able to still hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. But if no. Similarly, let's try it on this side. Can you still hear me? Yes. But as No. Okay. And that's voice baffling for you. I mean, acoustic baffling for you to, to cancel all the unnecessary noises during your conference. In conclusion, there's a lot of limitations in choosing Teams as your platform of choice. Firstly, the video quality is not the best. The, secondly, the whiteboard has a lot of limitations and uh, the whiteboard does, does not support so many functions. Thirdly, the remote control is not very compatible with touch screen. Therefore, if you are using Teams, we suggest that you have an extra uh, mouse and, and keyboard. And third, uh, fourthly, um, there's a very complicated series of steps in registering your account and creating the, uh, the, the, the Teams. Um, and lastly, uh, there's, it does not have its own projection software. Therefore, if you want to have a local projection, you have to use other third-party softwares, which will complicate your video experience.